Hi, this is Lin. Um, today I'm going to talk about how to use InfoPath Designer to customize the Add a New Item form in the list so that when we select a customer in this field, the options in Customer Staff will be filtered based on which customer you selected. Let's have a look at the uh, list we currently have. I'll cancel out of this. We have a customer list. Where we have two customers. One is customer A and the other is customer B. And we also have a customer staff list. You can see there are six staff in this list and two of them are from customer A and four of them are from customer B. We also have this customer orders list where the customer field is a lookup field. It's looking up the customer list and this customer staff column is also a lookup field looking up the customer staff list. And when we add a new item in this customer orders list, we can select the customer from customer list and also customer staff from customer staff list. However, what we want to do is when we select customer A, it only display the two customer staff for customer A. When we select customer B, it only display the other four. I'll show you how to use InfoPath to customize this form. I click Cancel and then click on the List tab on the top and then go to List Settings. And then we go to Form Settings. We will customize the current form using Microsoft InfoPath. Click OK. The Microsoft InfoPath Designer will be opened once you click that OK button. Now we can start customizing this form. Right click on this Customer Staff drop down list and then click Property. And you can see that the data source is customer staff list. If we go back to our SharePoint site, and this is our customer staff list, and you can see that it's populating that drop down list using the names in this list. By default, InfoPath only import two columns for a drop down menu one is the customer staff ID, the other one is customer staff name. However, we need to have another column which is this one, customer column, so that we can filter this drop-down list according to which customer the user selected. Let's go back to InfoPath Designer and this is the property of that drop-down list and then if we go to the select export button and then expand this menu and can, then you can see that there are two fields. One is ID, the other one is name. But we need to have another one, customer. So we will need to create another data connection. Okay, we will close this boxes and then click manage data connections at the bottom. We need to add another one, click add button we need to receive data, that's correct, and then click next button and then we need to receive data from SharePoint library and list click next and then click next and then the list we're going to use is customer staff list Next. Now we can pick which field we need to import. So the name and the customer, and the ID of course. 
and then click next next the data connections name is customer stuff one and then finish and then close now let's go back to the property of this drop down box right click on the drop down box and then click properties and then the data source we need to change to the new one that we just created and then click this export button and then click filter data click add select customer is equal to select a field or group we need to find the customer that the user selected we go to main and then expand this data fuse expand this one and then this is the customer drop down list on the form click OK so what we are doing here is we are applying a filter to this customer staff drop down list we only want to see those customer staff whose customer field is equal to the customer that the user selected on the customer drop down list above click OK and then OK and then OK we'll need to change this um, value to the ID field and the display name is the title which is the cu uh, customer staff name and then OK now we can click this preview button to see how it works if we select the customer and then you can see that the customer staff is filtered by th this customer if we change to another customer and then this customer staff list changes as well that's what we wanted now we can close preview now we can click on this publish button it will tell you your form template was published successfully click OK OK let's go back to our SharePoint site and go to customer orders list and then if we click add a new item you can see that the form is replaced by this info part form and then if we add a new product select the customer and then the customer stuff is filtered and then save if for some reason you don't want to use this info path form anymore you can always switch back to the default SharePoint form you can go to list tab on the top and then go to list settings and then click this form settings again and then select use the default SharePoint form you can either delete the info path form from the server or keep it there and then click OK thank you for watching this tutorial for more SharePoint training videos please go to sharepointlearning.net.au this is Lin I'll see you next time